Now the question is, which one is the real me? Is it this one here? Or maybe this one here? Or is it me in the middle? Well, I would hope it would be in the middle because I'm not made of plaster, but these plaster busts are so easy to make and with Halloween right around the corner, these are gonna be awesome to go and have, especially if you wanna go and make some special effects prosthetics, and you really need these to go and start making prosthetics in general. So in this helpful video tutorial, we'll be learning how to go and make plaster cast and plaster bust of your face to go and use for special effects makeup or to use as a creepy decoration for Halloween. Imagine this hanging on your wall, how cool that would look. Plus also too, these are just a great base for your special effects makeup. So let's get started. We're going to start off by going and taking our hair and putting it back. Next, you're going to need a bald cap. There are latex ones, silicone ones, or you can just use plastic wrap instead, as long as you can cover every piece of hair on your head, minus your eyebrows, those we're going to cover in just a couple minutes. Take the bald cap and adhere it to your head. Do not use liquid latex or latex if you are going and using a latex bald cap, because you will not be able to go and use the bald cap again, or reuse it or repurpose it. After it is glued down and adhered, what you're going to do is take petroleum jelly and put it onto your eyebrows. You need to put a really good amount onto them because you do not want any of the plaster sticking in. If it does stick in, it'll mold to your eyebrows and you'll end up pulling out your eyebrow hair. This is plaster gauze. This is skin safe. So what you're going to go and do is cut pieces of all different lengths. They should be pretty small to pretty large, just not any larger than pretty much your face span. Now take this and put it into cool water. And after you have it in cool water, you're going to go and wring it out. Wringing it out makes it a little bit easier to go and apply, and you won't have water go and drip down your face. You want to start off by covering your nose. At this point, you want to consider also having help from someone else. I didn't, I did it by myself, but you can safely do it by yourself. Just make sure you don't cover your nostrils when you're doing this. You need to still breathe. Prep some of your skin with a little bit of lotion if you would like to. It's just going to make it a lot easier to go and remove these gauze after the fact of it drying. Now take another piece of the plaster, put it over the top of your nose, and again, do not cover your nostrils. Take another strip, put it over your forehead, and what you're going to go and do is you're going to go and overlap pieces as you go. You need to make sure every piece is touching. And yes, you are going to put this over your lips. And again, be very conscious to make sure that your nostrils do not get covered. Continue to go and add pieces. As you can see, I'm just overlapping the pieces and you're going to get a pretty much basic layer. Now take a smaller piece of the gauze and cover your septum. Make sure that your nostrils are not covered at all. You need to have those open the whole time. Continue to layer this plaster gauze and let the first layer go and dry. Because I am making this face mold by myself, I am not covering my eyes and I really do highly suggest that you do not cover your eyes if you don't have an extra hand and you probably don't want to cover your eyes in general. Now after the first layer is dried, go and use your fingers to tap around to see where there are squishy spots. Where these spots are squishy, go and take more plaster gauze and cover it over again. To go and release this, you need to move your face around. Pull the sides after everything has dried and it's going to help a lot to go and pull the bald cap from the back to the front. This is really going to help it all release, but you need to make sure your face is separated partially before you go and do this or you might break it. Now, after it's removed, go and remove the bald cap before you go and fill in any extra little holes. Make sure to go and wash your face as well because not for nothing, I look a little like Uncle Fester right now. So this is what it looks like so far. You can see there's a small hole that is at the top and when I shine the light there, there's a little bit of where it's kind of see-through, which I'm going to go and cover up again. But first, use a ping pong ball for the eye, push it into place, and then you're going to go and secure it with some of the gauze. After you have secured it and that is dried, you can go and take the ping pong ball out. Do this for both sides, and it's a lot better to do this than covering your eyes. Now go back and cover up the nostrils as well, and wait for it to go and fully dry. Now, before you go and mold this, you're going to need to cover every single area of this with some Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Really get it into all of the cracks and crevices, because if you don't, your plaster that you're going and pouring is going to stick there. Now put this onto a blanket or a sheet in a box to keep it nice and secure. And after it's secured and placed where it's not going to wobble much, go and mix up some plaster of Paris. 
Plaster of Paris is usually a 2 to 1 ratio, and what I'm doing is I'm doing a half amount of plaster of Paris, so I'm only making up half of it right now to go and pour. And also, I really did notice that you don't want this to be too runny or too chunky. You want it to have some texture to it, because if you don't have a lot of texture, then it's just going to possibly get the mold really wet. After it's mixed, go and pour it inside. And after it is poured inside, what you're going to go and do is you're going to go and start to move this around. It is extremely important that you move this mold around and tap out any of the air bubbles. This is another reason why I'm doing this in two pours. Plaster of Paris, once it starts to dry, if you don't get the bubbles out, it's going to leave pretty big divots and you really don't want those. So after that is done and tapped out, go and add the, your second layer of plaster. Then you're going to go back and you're going to go and tap it more, move it around and get the air bubbles out. After it is dried, separate the sides and it's going to take 30 to 45 minutes for it to fully dry, but separate the sides and it should slide right out after you flip it over. After it is out, and as you can see, there's some marks and stuff here, you're going to want to go and smooth out any of the marks and any of the holes. What you would do is use a small amount of water, small amount of plaster, and just fill in the holes and go and smooth it out. After you've smoothed the bust out fully, you're going to want to wait just about 24 to 48 hours for this to fully and totally dry out. After it's dried, it should look a little something like this, and these are going to be great for special effects makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy almost Halloween, and happy spooky season.